there has been uh, much speculation over the last two months as to what posts I would be challenging in the MCA central elections. I have kept many people guessing for the simple reason that I myself did not know what post I was going to go for, except that it would be a high post. But after going around the country, waiting for an inspiration to come down upon me, talking to uh, the central delegates, exchanging views with them, asking them for their feedback, I have decided to go for the presidency of the MCA. Then, having received the inspiration, I must tell you why I'm going for the presidency. After receiving feedback from the grassroots centre delegates, I've come to the conclusion that there's only one post in the central leadership of the MCA that can bring about effective change and reforms. <laughs> only the president can set the tone for the rest of the central leadership because that is the political culture in this country, as in many countries in the world, that you cannot be more outspoken on more issues than your president. The president sets the ceiling, the president sets the tone. For me, I, my mission, is to transform the MCA into an effective, true political party.